Then Jesus said to them, Children, have you any food? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fish. Maybe Peter always cast the net to the left side of the ship, but that night he toiled all night and caught nothing. Then he heard this urgent voice from the shore, Cast your net to the right side of the ship. He did it and caught more fish than he could handle. When he heard the voice of Jesus and changed his methods, he was successful. In the Japan mission, we always try to use new methods when the Lord so indicated it to us. Just after the war, thousands of Japanese were sick with tuberculosis. We saw a great need that was not being met and placed hospital evangelists in many of these hospitals. In that way, it was possible to reach out with the gospel to over a thousand hospitals within a radius of 140 kilometers from our mission headquarters. Japan Mission also saw the tremendous potential of using the radio to bring the gospel right into the homes of the people. As a result, the Lord gave 100,000 responses to broadcast and correspondence courses, and they had the joy of leading many to the Lord. The mission were further challenged to help Japanese churches by making testimonies of Japanese Christians into films that they could use in their outreach program. A wonderful fellowship with lepers still continues today. But in the days before cassette recorders, the mission knew several lepers who read Braille Bibles with their tongue because they had lost all sense of feeling in the extremities of their bodies. The Braille pages were often covered with blood. We, with all our faculties, well, how much time do we spend with God's Word? Japan Mission also placed advertisements for Christ in ordinary newspapers, offering a free New Testament and spiritual help to anyone in need. From one ad alone, they had received over 5,000 responses. During Christmas celebrations, people in Japan are more responsive to the gospel than at any other time. So Christmas festivals were started. Thousands attended, which resulted in some very clear conversions. Japan Mission are still continuing to use new methods to reach people. They are trying to cast the net out to the right side of the ship. If you want to reach modern people, you have to use modern methods. Young people in Japan do not necessarily want to hear sermons, but they do want to see videos. We provide them with videos containing a clear gospel message and presenting it in a new, exciting and interesting way. The Japanese are not keen to attend church meetings, but they do want to learn English. So English is an incentive to get them to come to church and allow us to proclaim Christ to them. Like anywhere else in the world, young people love parties. The mission have many Christmas parties for them explaining the Christ of Christmas. The team would rarely refuse invitations to parties. And at these parties, we have a wonderful opportunity to present our Saviour. Young couples these days are most anxious to have a Christian wedding. So Japan Mission provides seminars and officiate at their weddings. It is as if Jesus is still saying to us today, cast the net to the right side of the ship when Peter heard these words, he might have thought it stupid. But he toiled all night long and he caught nothing. And without any faith whatsoever, he obeyed Jesus. He changed his methods of fishing and he caught more fish than he could handle. Maybe Jesus is saying to you, change your methods. Do not let tradition hold you back in your outreach for Him. 
Some of us are still busy with ox wagon methods in this modern age in which we live. May God help us to get relevant in reaching out with new methods to the lost around us. May the Lord help us to obey His voice and to cast the net to the right side of the ship.